Hello, what's up you two photographer Ronnie Sweet and I try in this tutorial. I want to show you how you can easily color grade or how you even color grade this image in capture. And so most of you have been asking me to drop a tutorial about how I achieved the color grading for this very image that I posted on my Instagram account at Tronics Photography. You can follow me or hit me up on my Instagram at Tronics Photography. And this is the before and this is the after before after so i want to show you how i achieved these nice and beautiful colors for this very image in caption so caption is a raw processing software that is going to enable us color grade this image and it works like lightroom but it has more effective and better features than lightroom as you're going to see in this very tutorial so we are going to be resetting this it may start you can start from the very start and look at how we can achieve such a look on this very image so just going to be working on the image and color grade it better so if i told you find the video helpful i request that you hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this video to many people out there so in capture the very first thing i tend to do when it comes to color grading images is first of all correcting the lighting and contrast issues in or affecting the image so as you can see the whites are a little bit blown out in the image and usually when I'm shooting images, I tend to shoot them with no contrast in them. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come. I know that to achieve the details in the blown out whites or highlights, I simply drag the highlights down and I do the same for my whites. So this is going to be a more subjective way, depending on the adjustments you want to do on the image or the look you're going to go in for. So after doing this, I come and add contrast to the image. But all this is done on the background layer. So after that, I just come and turn down the exposure a little bit because it was a little bit too much for my liking. Then I come down to my levels and I simply drag in my blacks just like that. And that adds rich or more contrast to the image. So after I've done all these adjustments, and if at all, as you're going on and you're lacking anything within your caption, you can simply right click on these adjustments and come to add tool and add whichever tool that you're missing in your capture one. Then if I told you'd love your capture one to look like mine, simply come to window then come to workspace and come to migration and you'll have your capture one looking like this or looking like the camera or Lightroom if I told you use when you're used to those two softwares. So basically after I've done the basic lighting and contrast issues and fixing them in the image the next thing is working on the skin tones and even the greens within the image you can see in our after image this is what we had so just come right here to our before and we want to achieve the same look so the very first thing i'm going to do is first of all handling the skin tone of the model so i'm just going to come and right click on this layer icon plus icon and come and create a new field adjustment layer by this i mean by new field it is going to be affecting the image on a global level or the adjustments you're going to be making may affect the image on a global basis or the overall image so i'm just going to rename this to skin tones and after i've done this i'm just going to come to my color editor and you can still have basic advanced and skin tones so for this case I want to prefer or to work on the skin tones first. So make sure I select the skin tones and get the color picker tool or eyedropper tool. And this time around, I'm just going to zoom into the image and I look for a skin tone that is going to be close to what my model had. So I'm just going to look for this. And for this case, as soon as you click, you can see it shows you the colors that fall within the selected or targeted range. So I'm just going to zoom out by using Ctrl Command minus. And make sure I zoom in and I look at the skin at a global level. Then I'm going to come to this. You can turn this on to see the selected color range. So as soon as you turn on this, it is going to automatically desaturate the colors that fall with that don't fall within the targeted area. And you can see it has desaturated the greens because they don't fall within. The color range of the skin tone so i'm just going to turn this off so after i've done this i'm just going to come to the uniformity slider and simply start taking up the hues so when you take up the hue slider 
is going to be affecting the skin tone and it's going to make it look a little bit more on the even side i'm also going to intensify on the saturation to make the skin a little bit more uniform and you can see right now the skin tone or the skin is looking a little bit more on the uniform side so you have to stop at that point and you don't have to overdo this but we have one drawback as we are doing these adjustments you can see it has also changed or altered the grass within the background and the ground right here you can see it has also color graded the grass and even uh the dress right here so we don't want it to affect this area so in order to do this we're just going to come back to our skin tone layer and remember it is a new field adjustment layer so we are going to right click on this layer and come and we clear the mask so as soon as you clear the mask it is going to invert everything so we want to pay it in the color grading on only the skin so that it doesn't affect the dress of our model so with this we're just going to come and get the brush tool within our capture one and you're going to simply press m on the keyboard and m is going to activate the mask and show us where we are painting so i'm just going to paint and it's going to highlight that mask as we are painting back the color grading or the colors back into the skin of the model so i'm just going to come remember you press m on the keyboard and you can see that is going to either bring or hide the mask it is going to enable you paint in those areas that you want to affect and you can see right now it has just affected only and only a skin area you can see in this area you can just come and paint using your brush and paint in the areas that you want to color grade and you can see as you're painting in those areas it is going to be showing uh this red a uh, mask on the skin area that we are trying to paint in and we have that nice and uniform skin so when you're done doing all this you can as well come and paint on the hand area and come on this area and also paint on it come and also paint on these fingers and you can see right now we have just affected only the skin and when we come and we press m on the keyboard it is going to hide the mask from the overall image and you can see right now the dress and the grass are not affected so if at all you feel like the color grading has changed maybe the color of the makeup or the lipstick you can come and get your eraser tool right here and you can simply erase the color from the lipstick and re you retain or maintain your the original color of the makeup so right now we are done working on the skin and if at all i turn on the before and after you can see what we have been able to achieve that's the before and after so next we are going to create a new field adjustment layer once again and that is going to be for the background or the grass so what i did basically i came to the color editor in this case then i came to the basic adjustment layer or the basic option within the color and i came to the greens and i simply pulled the greens towards the aquas and that made the greens a little bit aquaish and i came to the saturation basically and I dropped down or reduced on the saturation so I simply pulled the greens all the way up and you can see this is basically what I did when I was color grading then I came to my shadow areas and what I did I simply added that kind of bluish or cyan look to the shadows I came to the midtones and I simply added a little bit more of the oranges to the midtones and i came to the highlights and I simply added a tiny bit of greens to my highlights so basically this was the image initially before after before after so basically this is what i did when i was color grading the image in capture one so i took the image into photoshop to do the skin retouching and final adjustments on the image so basically this is it for this tutorial and if at all maybe you have done too much on the color grading you can come the opacity and turn that down so basically this is it for this tutorial and if at all you have loved this don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel
if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching I'll see you in yet more amazing trails and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating